<laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, it's me, Tamara. You're on Tamara's Vapor Trail. It is seven o'clock. Mystery card Monday. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the post I just did on my personal page. Oh my God, you guys. Uh, <laughs> you got to head over to my personal page and check it out. I forgot about my shopping experience this morning. And uh, I had, there was a smoking good deal on strawberries. <laughs> so check out my post. <laughs> hi, Shayla. Hi, Melody. Hello. I, I, I got a little sidetracked. So I haven't even finished setting up. No big deal. It's okay. I am in such a good mood today. Honestly. Hey, Bev. How are you? Bev, you can't just go changing your profile picture. What the heck? How will I know it's you? How do I know it's really you? <laughs> hi, Jen. Hi, Debbie. Oh my gosh. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm just going to keep setting up while everybody jumps on here. Oh my God. I just, I just about died, honestly. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. Please tell. Yes, I bought. No, I bought none, Jennifer, because they look scabby, first of all. And for $6, it, it was, they were small. Um, like the package was small. I, um, I usually get them at Costco. Uh, and they're usually seven, seven dollars, seven or eight dollars, but generally, like you get twice as much, and they're generally good quality. So it's Luca's birthday. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's right. I saw your post, Bev. Nine years old, you said. I think. Hey, hi, Joy. Hi, Hope. How are you? I saw you commented on something today, but I was like, hey, I haven't heard from Hope for, for a while. So I hope all is well with you. Hi, Mary. Janet. Hello. Janet, you're going to cost me a lot of money. Yeah, Janet and your pampered chef party. What the heck? I'm like, I, I need pampered chef. Like I need another stamp set, right? <laughs> There's another coffee cup coming with that saying on it. Um, but I might have spotted something that I think I need for a birthday present. So stay tuned. Anyway, uh, where are we at? Oh, my goodness. I got all kinds of comments coming. Uh, hi, Heather. And Ottawa. How's the weather out there, Heather? Did you guys get blown away today? I heard you were in for some major wind. Uh, yeah, she is gorgeous, Bev. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Hi, Marcella. Hi, Liz. I'm having an amazing week. And so that tails on Melanie's um, question of how is Jenny? So for any of you, I don't think any of you are in here for the first time. Uh, hi, Paulette. You know that I usually start off my Mondays with my Jenny update and my uh, windy. It was here too. I know it was sleeting. It was windy. It was nasty. Nasty. Um, um, okay, sorry. I'm like, Jennifer, I thought you preferred Jennifer than Jen. Oh, okay. Hi, Connie. All right. Anyway, um, my Jenny, blah, my Jenny update. Um, I gained two and a half pounds. And I'm so happy. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my Lord. Let me just tell you. Okay, let's just talk as chickens here. I had an epiphany. Hi, Donna. I had an epiphany uh, around four o'clock this morning. So, right. Y'all have been on this journey of mine for weight loss, right? I've, I've got issues. I've got a really messed up relationship with food, honestly. Um, and I've struggled since I was, I don't know, I've struggled um, with eating. I'm an emotional eater, good, bad. I love food. I love food. And especially since I quit smoking, I just don't finish my meal. Like I just keep eating. It used to be I'd leave the table to go and have a cigarette. I'm very, I'm very all or nothing, right? I think you guys know that about me. Anyway, bring it home, Tamara. <laughs> Let's just get this going at 704. Let's go. Um, so I woke up this morning and I thought, okay, I have been the same weight, give or take, since November. Okay. This program isn't cheap. What the heck? What? What? Why? What? Yes, Christmas. Okay, enough. Enough. Poop or get off the pot, right? Like, what's going on here? And then it occurred to me. I had a boss who used to say to me, Tamara, yeah, you're swell, um, but you're really just good to the last hurdle. And I'm like, what does that mean? I was younger at the time. I was, uh, how old was I? I was 30. I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean I'm good to the last hurdle? He's like, you are great out of the gate. You run a fantastic race. You do well. And then you get like five yards from the finish line. And you're like, meh, I think I'll stop now. Eh, 
Like, next, what else you got? This is boring me now, right? And he says, you are good to the last hurdle. You just can't seem to get over that finish line. I'm like, that's exactly what's happening with Jenny. I am this close to my goal. Like, it was supposed to be at 185. I start on maintenance. Um, absolutely, Bev. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled with where I'm at. Like, I've lost, well, <laughs> last week I was, like, this close to losing 40 pounds. But whatever. It doesn't matter. So I thought, like, why, why can't I cross that 190, right? I was 191.4 last week. This week I gained two and a half pounds. Now let's just say, I know last night I had roast beef dinner. There's like a ton of salt in there. doesn't matter. I, I didn't gain two and a half pounds of fat, but what was more important when I weighed in this morning, I went, I am so okay with that. It's just a number. I, I think I'm there, you guys, like mentally, I'm like, you know what? I am over it. I am over the number. I feel good. I, I said to my consultant and she, cause she knows usually I kind of freak out or get mad or whatever. And I'm like, I am so fine with this. I can't even tell you. I said, I like the way I look. I like the way I feel. Yeah. I'd like to be another 20 pounds down, but I'm okay with it. So my motivation, thanks very much, Beth. My motivation is not there right now, but more importantly, I'm this close to the hurdle, which is when I always give up. Now, the funny thing is, is I'm not giving up but I am giving up because I'm not, I'm not as motivated. I'm not as dedicated. I'm still eating the Jenny food, but like one day I had a piece of white bread with butter. Uh, another day I had two little shortbread cookies and okay, I didn't eat the whole bag. So I've made huge, huge strides in that, but, um, I ha I, I ate enough that I won't have lost and I was okay with that. But I think, okay, so like, what's the problem here? Like I need to get, I, I don't need to, I want to get to 180. I need to cross the finish line. So I know me, I know how I work. I just need to have more hurdles. So, so excited. Um, my consultant just said, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm moving the hurdle back. My hurt, my goals, as I said, I have to, I have to change it. I'm not now striving for that like last six pounds because it's not working for me mentally. But because of the way I operate, I went, I need a bigger hurdle. So for the next three weeks, I am eating Jenny and only Jenny for three weeks. It's a, and so what's going to happen is for two weeks, I'm going to eat only Jenny. And that third week, I will probably fall apart because it's the last hurdle. But I'll be two weeks further ahead. <laughs> so I'm like, I know me. I am just going to get out of my own way and work with me the way I know I work. Brilliant, right? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Um, and I'm also excited because I said, you know what? I'm in this for three more weeks and then I'm out. And she kind of looked at me. I said, no, regardless of what the number is on the scale, I am going hardcore Jenny for three weeks. This is my commitment. You guys are going to hold me accountable. And I got my daughter bulldogging me too. I'm like, nothing other than the, you know, the odd salad dressing or, or butter or something on some vegetables. Nothing. No cookies, no nibbles, no bites, no licks, no anything. Jenny, that is my commitment. And then whatever the number says in three weeks, I am done. It's like I've been doing this over nine months. At 10 months, I am out. By that, I mean, we will adjust. If, if I'm at, say, 187, I'm like, guess what? My goal weight is 187. So then I start maintenance. And then it goes four days, Jenny, three days, your own. You do that for a couple of weeks. Then you do three days, Jenny, four days, your own. And then I'm out. I said, I will be, I'll have been doing this for one year. And by then, I know I will be 180 come hell or high water. I bought a hula hoop. I bought a hula hoop. I'm going to hula hoop. I'm going to get there. I'm, and I'm just, I'm rejuvenated. I'm, um, I'm excited and I feel free. I feel free that the number doesn't bother me. And I was thinking, Oh, I should really buy a scale again so that every week I weigh myself. No, I am not buying a scale. The number doesn't matter. I know that my pants fit well. I know I didn't gain two and a half pounds this week. I know that. So what the F with the number? I, and I just, I think I've done it after 54 years. I think I'm finally okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Anyway, so I'm having a great day. And I had to create all weekend and I created all day. I had so much fun with today's layout. Should I? <laughs> I want to scroll and read what you're saying, you guys. It's 7.09, but I know I should start stamping, right? <laughs> so, okay. Uh, let me just take a quick peek. Do, 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 do. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what, Kathy, when you're 54, you'll get there. When you're 54, you'll have had enough. Oh, I know. I know. I've, I have done so well. Thank you, you guys. Great, great, great. Good for you. Thank you. Thanks, Mary. 
It is, Connie. And my see the problem with my <laughs> Connie says learning how to work with your with how your brain works is half the battle. It is, and I think you know enough about me to know that my brain is very complicated. <laughs> I know you do it, uh, Mary. I thought of you with the hula hoop. I can't. I, it keeps dropping on my toe and it hurts because it's two pounds. But I'll get there. <laughs> uh, so the other thing I want to do too is once um, in a, in about three weeks I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up for Noom, which is the psychology of it, right? I, I you're 56, Kathy. Real okay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> I thought you look younger than me. So there you go. All right. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's, uh, let's flip this around and let's start doing some, some stamping, some crafting. I had a lot of fun with my, I wear my cards. <laughs> I, um, I started and I made one, two, three, four, five, I made like six cards using this layout. So that's how I know it's a good layout. Now I cannot take credit for this layout. I copied this layout. Debbie Short, are you in the office tonight? Are you in the, are you in the, are you here, Debbie? There's Debbie. Yes, I do feel good. And I do like the way you, I look. And I know, right? Hi, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. I just feel good. I feel light. I feel awesome. Okay, Tracy, Tracy, how is the movie? Oh my God, Tracy, tell me all. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, so Debbie, this layout tonight comes from you. My friend Debbie sent me a card and I now have a bucket, a mystery card Monday bucket with cards that uh, I think these are great layouts for my mystery card Monday. So thank you, Shelly. Hi, Coral. Oh, right, Joy. I can't wait to walk, to walk fast. Oh, I can't even wait. I can't. I'm excited. All right. Focus. Tamara, I am all over the place. Everything's coming up roses, you guys. Life is so good right now. I'm just, I'm a happy little bunny. I'm a happy little bunny. Okay, we're going to start. We're going to start crafting. Here we go. It's so hot. <laughs> I've got my heat. standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. Let's fold that bad boy in half. I had fun with this layout. I have to turn off the heat. Hi, MJ. There's MJ. Hey, you know what else I'm doing right now, you guys, is um, this is also how I know that I'm okay with everything. Okay, check this out. Pardon me. We just we just have to do this for a minute. Okay, I'm going to go like this. You don't have to look at my boobs. You have to look at the rest of me. Look at this. Okay, so I'm wearing clothes that are tight. Skin tight. They're skin tight. And I, I'm happy about that. I'm not hiding behind my clothes. I'm not embarrassed to go out in public. And uh, I'm okay with it. Ha! Ah, I got curves and I'm okay with that. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, Melanie, I am, I am going to win that condo in, uh, in Canmore. I'm so excited about it. Like, just so excited about the win that I haven't won yet, but I'm going to. The universe likes me this week. I love it. We have folded our card base in half. <laughs> Thanks, Shayla. <laughs> Wolf whistles. All right. I'll give you a booty shot later. Um, now if you so choose, you can take, where's my layer? Where's my layer? Oh, look, you guys, I'm, look what happened here. Um, did I even tell you about this? Oh, yes, I did. A card, what have I done here? Card stock, oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> card stock layer. Oh, my gosh, what a gong show. Three and a half by four and three quarters. Embossed if desired. So I'm going to emboss mine because I don't know why I have this in here. <laughs> I think I just threw a bunch of scraps in there. I don't even know what that's in there. So I am using the wave paper. Um, it's just a little snippet, so you might not even have um, recognized it, but it's the new waves of inspiration or the waves, the waves promotion, the waves of inspiration is a stamp set, waves of the ocean promotion, waves paper, I don't even know what it's called, but there's a bunch of waves on it. So that's the paper I'm using. I've been chopping it up like crazy. Oh, Donna, that's okay. I understand. I know where I am on the picking order, my friend. I know where I am and it's all good. I appreciate you popping in at all, honestly. Okay. All right. So I am going to emboss this layer. No, I'm not. I've got the wrong cutting plaid. I got the wrong thing on here. I got the wrong one. Got my 3D folder, but the wrong cutting gray pad. I am loving this little cart, let me tell you. Love this IKEA cart. I didn't think I would because it moves when you roll it. Oh, that's okay. All right. Or it moves when you... Um, Anyway, it moves. It's on wheels. Okay. So here I've embossed this piece using my, I don't know what this is. This is the, I think this is the bark folder, but it looks like waves to me. So I put that down there. Now I deviated from Debbie's card a little bit. So there we got a card base. We've got our layer. 
So here's our designer paper, two inches wide by five inches long. Okay. And I'm reading about curling. <laughs> I'm going to put this here. All right. So uh, Debbie's original layout, this was flush, but I went a little bit rogue and I made it a little bit longer. So this is two inches wide by five inches long. So I'm going to start taping some of this stuff down. I, I need my card. I don't even know where I'm going on this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring in my silicone mat because I can't use tape without it. Okay, so I'm going to tape this down. Actually, before I do that, I was rummaging through my stash and I went, holy cow, do I ever have a lot of vellum doilies? <laughs> so I grabbed my vellum doilies and I'm going to put this on the card here. So I'm going to put it right there. But I'm really going to put it behind this piece of paper. This way. So I'm going to center that. So this is just my embellishment. So I didn't tell you to do this part. So you might just want to hold off in, you know, in five, in three minutes, you're going to see my final card and then you can decide where you want to go with this layout. Okay. Maybe I should tape this down first. Holy cow, Tamara. Okay. I'm putting, <laughs> is anybody keeping up with me? Good Lord. Hopefully it's nobody's first time. Is anybody here tonight for the first time? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. It's okay. You didn't miss much. Honestly, just my 15 minutes of rambling about my weight. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, never been so excited to gain two and a half pounds in my life. <laughs> okay, I, just, I feel like, you know what? And I told the lady too. I said, you know what? Here's the thing, lady. Her name is Suba. She's actually quite nice. I said, I don't, I said this, Jenny Craig, I said, it's a diet. Like y'all are trying to tell me it's a lifestyle. It's a diet. Okay. Because last week. And, um, I, I said to her, I said, okay, don't like, I'm not dogging on you here, but last week you said something to me. Um, and I've heard the other consultants say it to their people more than once. And you said, how many days last week were you perfect? I said, you can't say that. I said that that's a diet. I said, I don't want to fe feel guilt that I had a piece of bread. I don't want to have guilt that I ate a cookie. So when you ask me how many days was I perfect that just reinforces the mess in my head that is oh my god I'm a failure I'm a loser I'm a glutton I'm I'm a pig right all the things that we say to ourselves when you have a cookie okay granted I usually have five or six so you know that's a little excessive but I said it's not okay to say to ask us how many how many days did you eat perfect that's not that's not a lifestyle that made me mad and I think that's where I got this week when she said that last week I think that just flipped something where I went, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm doing this my way. So anyway, I'm excited to Hulu. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Um, at this point, I think I had usual tools, embellishments, inks, and adhesives. So I'm going to show you now where I went. Debbie says, uh, multitasking, watching Curly, making St. Patrick's Day to to listening to Mara. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's okay, Trina. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to show you my final version of this card because I really like how it turned out, but, um, I don't, you know, you, you need to see where I'm going because I am pretty sure you don't know what I'm doing. Here is my final card. I did it though in, um, Coastal Cabana as the base for this one. Uh, so here we go. So this is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this and I'm going to stamp on that. And then I'm going to cut out Mr. Pelican in gray. I had one somewhere. I don't know where I put them though. I guess I might have to stamp another one. That's okay. You can watch me do that. I love Mr. Pelican. Oh, here he is. I just have to cut him out. Okay. So that's where it's going. <clears throat> now this one, I hear you cry. Where is this label from? This is from the happy hippo or hippo happiness set of dies. And this one is from the dies in the waves of these are the waves dies, waves of the ocean dies they're called waves dies and they there we go so I stamped the sentiment this one uh I said your strength is an inspiration I don't know how many times I would use that I mean I do have friends that I can certainly say that too but I also like the you're totally awesome and it fits on this label as well so thanks Leslie wait till you see my um my alternates because they're fun too so Debbie do you recognize this layout 
Oh, that was crooked. Ah! That's not okay. I can't have that. Kind of a show my run in here. I can't have that. I gotta do it again. Do over. I, I felt it. I felt it. It wasn't gonna be straight. Okay. So, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Hey, tomorrow, what do you guys want me to do tomorrow for Check It Out Tuesday? I'm thinking of playing with the masks and, um, and or embossing paste. What do you think? I think I'm using the wrong cutting plate again. Hang on. Where's the right cutting plate? Where are you? There it is. Okay. All right. Do this again. And I know this layout works with all kinds of different papers because I made like six of them. Hi, Brenda. Last year with this team rebuilding. Ah, oh, we're talking the curling again, eh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, it's a good layout, and I thank you for it, Deb. Okay, so this one, let's go a little bit higher this time because that was totally too low for me. You're totally awesome. There you go. Yes, 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 says, oh, goodness, says Joy. <laughs> Mats and embossing paste would be great. Okay, excellent. Let's do that then. I have a bit of a plan. Everything's coming up roses this week. I'm telling you, you guys, I just, I have been creating, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I created. I, um, I am almost a month ahead for my April 1st class, my flowing flowers. I'm like what? How can I be so far ahead? So now I'm, I need to do a bunch of blog hop posts and tutorials and stuff like that. But um, I, I can't believe I'm this far ahead. Anyway. Okay. Where is Mr. Pelican? So this, there's a die for this guy too. Ah, Shayla. Yes. We'll talk the paste tomorrow. We'll have a big long chit chat about the paste. We will indeed. Tips and tricks about that paste. It's messy. I'm usually not into mess, but... Um, it's an acceptable level of mess for me because the results are really awesome and I haven't used it in so long. I better check that it's not dried out actually. Okay. So here's Mr. Pelican. He's stamped in gray, a smoky slate. I guess I should use the proper terminology. Hey, demonstrators. Hey guys. Hey, Hey, listen up demonstrators. Hey, <laughs> who's taking my training? I'm doing some training, you guys. And I also have a dirty shirt on. What the heck? <laughs> I did some meal prep today, so I'm a little messy. Um, I'm doing training for demonstrators on how to run product-included classes. It's so cheap, you guys. It's almost free. Um, it is $45 or $35 order through my store because it works out to the same. So if you want some, if you need some tape or anything, place an order through my store and the training is free. Anywhere in Canada. Um, and I lost my dimensionals. Some of you have signed up and I'm ever so grateful. Uh, it's going to be an hour and a half to two hours long. Lost my dimensionals in there. It's going to be good. I'm going to teach you how I run my product included classes. And um, did I mention that this has been my most successful year? to date for sales. So something's working. Something's working. I've got a lot of tips and tricks. I'm not saying you have to do it the way I do it, but good value for money. And it's just fun. It's fun hanging out. Right? Okay. So there's this guy. Uh, now I need the rhinestones. Oh my God, you guys, I might have ordered like 15 packs of this. I may not be exaggerating. Love these rhinestones. That, like that and let's put this one up here excellent Heather seriously yeah yes MJ you are and I know Tracy is I got a list I've got like seven or eight people so far so I'm excited that's my card do you love it I love it okay so let me show you it's 724 and given that I didn't start until like 716 that's pretty good right here's the original so thank you very much Debbie Short for the layout how fun is that? So Debbie's, uh, she embossed the background here, a strip of the um, Valentine paper, whatever, sweet, sweet conversations paper. Um, just simple, 
loved it. I'm like, perfect mystery card Monday card. So I just made mine a little bit longer. Don't have to. And then I started doing variations up the yin yang. Holy cow. So I looked at this and my original one, I did it in the Coastal Cabana. So which one do you prefer? I'm not sure yet. But then I thought, okay, well, let's see how it looks like on white. Oh, that's a good sentence. Mm. Um, so then I, I got all my pieces and I tried it on white and I found I didn't like this layer with it. Now, that's why this layer was here. That's because I'd used it on my white one. Somewhere I threw it. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> here it is. So I could have used this on this card, but here's what I did instead. Now, kind of freaking love this. I don't know why I love it because Tamara likes to have an extra layer and I tried it and it was too much. They are both nice, aren't they? Yeah. I like, I like, excuse me. I like them both, but then I liked this one better. It's just, I'm, I'm in a simple frame of mind these days and I liked this one better. Yes, Tracy, I knew you would. Thank you, Mary. Now let's, so then I, I was off to the races. So when you guys create your card, do whichever. I mean, this is a jumping off point, right? I mean, I saw Debbie's and I, I altered it just ever so slightly. And now, you know, so then I, I started off with hers with a colored card base and, you know, similar elements. And then I went, okay, let's try it with a white card base. And then, oh, let's try it without this background. Ooh, kind of love that. So this I ran with and I made four different variations. So these ones I don't, I don't love it's okay. This one, uh, this one do I like better? I don't know. So here's, there's this one. Because again, I might have two packages of the doilies and I think I've used doilies like twice in my life. Like these, these I, doily doilies, the round ones. I have bought, I've bought dozens of packs of them over the years and I just can't seem to make them work on a card. So I thought, well, the square doily worked. Let's do a round doily. So I kind of like this. Like the white without the green layer, but I like the coastal base with the green layer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I know there's so many different things you can do with this. And I can't even believe that I don't have this matted. I did try it and I didn't like it. It was too much. So then, pardon me, because there are different, um, there are three different color of doilies in the pack. There's a uh, basic gray, the misty moonlight, and the cinnamon cider. I thought, okay, I'm going to try one with each. And I tried this originally with the gray and it was too dark. It just, it didn't work. Yeah. You like the blue one? Thank you, Wendy. Oh, thanks Donna. This, yeah, I, I might have three packages of this. So I got to start using it up now because uh, I bought so much of it. I want, I'm trying to use stuff before it retires, which means I'm trying to use the doilies. So I might make up a whole bunch of these. I'm just not convinced that this Misty Moonlight one works here. Um, I might do a lighter shade. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure. These ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. Thank you, Shelly. This one, I love. I love, I love, I love. And I have a use for the paper. I love this one. So this is the good fortune, season of fortune, season of good. I don't know what it's called. Good fortune, season of fortune, something of fortune. So much fortune. <laughs> fortune. Symbols of fortune. There we go. Symbols of fortune. And I love this one pattern. I, oh, okay. And now it's all over my floor. It's okay. This one I love. I really, really, really wish we had a bamboo die. Now we don't, but we do have a bamboo set. So I went, I can fussy cut. Really? So I stamped. I want to make more of this one. I love this one so much. Grateful for all that you do right in the Japanese font or the Chinese font. I just love it. So I stamped these um, in soft suede and I stamped the sentiment in soft suede. So they're all the same elements. And then for this one, I used these polished dots or whatever these ones were. I don't know what they're. Don't like cinnamon cider, but I love that cinnamon cider card. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Yeah, this one, I'm just, ah, I don't know. I'm not, I'd like it a little bit darker, but the gray was too dark. So as you can see, it's so peeking in there because I couldn't get it off. It was a little bit too dark, I thought. Too harsh. But yeah, and I love this one particular pattern in particular. So thanks, Bev. I love this one so much I can't even. 
I like, these are my favorites. These two are my favorite. The rest are lovely. Of course they are. Um, but I would like to do more of these. However, as I'm sitting here, I think, okay, I do like to stretch myself. Look, it's only 730. And look, like we could be done. I could say goodbye. Oh, let me show you some, let me show you some stuff that I did today though. Uh, uh, oh yes. Here's my class that I posted that I did yesterday. So here's my flowing flowers class is coming up. This one's coming up on April 1st. There's a little bit fussy cutting. I'm not going to lie. This is actually the wave paper. Huh? Huh? Clever, right? And look, there's some embossing in there. So that's really pretty. This one, I can't even believe this. Uh, wow. Yeah. There's a lot of stamping. This class is probably going to be, most of my classes are an hour. This will be probably closer to two, an hour and a half to two because there's, there's a lot of stamping. Usually there's very minimal stamping. This one's a lot of stamping. And then this one got a lot of oohs and ahs on this one. I love this one. This one was inspired by one of my girls and I can't remember her name. Uh, I'll have to find it. Thanks. So this class is $45, 55 if you're long distance, you get the stamp set with it. So um, I need RSVPs by the middle of this month. So I did that yesterday and I felt all accomplished. Then I needed to create some cards for, I'm in a tutorial um, co-op. So do you remember my Easter class? For my Easter class, I had my little chick and I had my little bunny. And I had my other little bunny. So this was the class I did. Was it last Friday already? Yeah, just this past Friday, I think. I don't know when it was. <laughs> anyway, um, these I was going to use these cards for my um, tutorial, but they're a little bit too fancy um, because they're supposed to be more for beginner stampers and um, if we wanted to send a lot of packets to our team and so on and so forth. So I needed to make them simpler. So today I came down here and I cracked off. I was like, I was, I'm on fire. So this is the same bunny, but he's not as fancy because he's not got the die cut. So you, when you're doing things simply, you don't want to spend nine hours die cutting. So it's the same guy, just different paper. And, oh, Debbie. Well, I'm honored that you sent me a card. So, hey, shout out to you. Then this one. This was way too many steps. So look, isn't he cute? Like it just works so well, so simple. So, you know, beginner stamper, they're just straight cuts and then advanced stamper. So I cracked those off today. And then I've shown you this one before, just super quick and easy. And then my baby card. So that I did today. What else did I do today? I've got, oh, I did my swap card. Well, I showed you this one the other day, another little sneaky peek. This is using the wave bundle with, you see my favorite layout, you know my layout, did that one. I did, um, that's all I did. I think that's all I did. No, I made another card too, another swap card. Look at this one. Oh, you guys, look at that. Huh? Love it. So I am cracking. This is why I'm in such a good mood is I got to create and they're my creations. I, they weren't like copied necessarily off somebody else, um, which I often do. So I was pretty excited about that. A lot of creative time. Um, yes. And I have more to go. So yeah, I'm just, oh, thanks. Thanks, Wendy. I, um, I just needed to be in my cave creating apparently. So let's get back to our cards from tonight. Let's see if I can do this again. I need more pet sympathy. Um, the one I did last week, I love. Thanks, Shelly. You know what? I'm not going to lie. When I first saw that sweet, I thought, Ugh, bit of a one trick pony, right? You got some waves and you got some really bold paper. And it took me um, about an hour of cutting. Like you can see, I had a bunch of different layouts. I had all kinds of things cut. I went, what am I going to do with this? All you can do is slap a wave on the pretty paper and done, right? So there's a couple sentiments, but I was like, nah, it's pretty limiting. But the more I've started to play with it, can I, I'm going to show you another one just to convince you that you need this bundle in your life. And for any of you, I think most of you are demonstrators, but if you're not, um, actually there's a few options for you. If you don't have this bundle, why don't you order it through me and then you'll get my training for free. 
Mm -hmm. Also, you could buy the um, you could buy the bundle, and you could get my Bogo items for free for the same value. I've got my Bogo going on. Have you? Are you in my Bogo? Uh, you will need to Google or on Facebook. You need to look for Tamara's virtual Bogo, something or other, or I can send you a link. And so, whatever you buy, you get my retired stuff for free. So, anyway. Um, yeah, see, Jennifer, you just got to play with it more. Me too, Connie, the more you play with it. And uh, you know what? Try to force yourself, whenever you get something that you don't love, force yourself to make three cards with it. Three. Three cards. And once you do, then chances are you'll see it in a different light. So this is a swap I got for my friend Glenda. Oh, my God. I love it. Look at it. It's simple. Right? We got, she's got the waves and the foil, the two different colors foil. She stamped it behind. She got this guy. She's got a bunch of shimmer on there. I just love it. Once you make three, Heather, like if that's your challenge. So when, if, like say, if you don't like it, make three and see if you can learn to like it after the three, after the three cards. And, uh, okay. Thanks, Hope. Yes. All right. Thanks. Well, you've seen the cards now, so you know what to do with it. Um, anyway, so that's what I've been up to this week and it's just, it's energizing. So back to my pet stuff. I need more pet sympathy. And so I'm going to try this layout. I think we established that this could be either paw because the dog paws have the claws. So people are saying, no, this is a cat paw, but, I don't know. but it's on the dog paper. So I don't know what to, what to what to think but anyway I'm gonna go with my oh the other thing I should say with this card ladies is I actually trimmed it down to four and three quarters not five I wanted it a little bit shorter so this is actually two wide by four and three quarters so I'm gonna try and see if I can make another pet sympathy um, because I had planned to make a whole bunch but I still haven't I, I've got other priorities going on right now so if I can get them done on a Monday night bingo bango now, I'd be quite happy to use up more of my doilies. Yeah, and, and Donna, of course, um, it depends on why you're buying, right? I run the business. I do the business. And so I want, um, I want to play with it. I want to stretch myself. Now, does that doily work there? You know what? I should do a great big heart. Would be even better back there. I have a big heart. I just sold a couple of my heart bundles. I can do it with the doily right there. I think so. And then I'm going to do, I think I'll do a black, a black this, and then a white, maybe stamped with red. So let's just do a little bit of die cutting here. Ooh. There's, you know what the funny thing is, is uh, a lot of times I resist buying things that I don't love, Donna. Um, you know, of course, you get the things you do love first. Ultimately, I end up buying almost everything in the catalog just or getting it for free. So I, I get a lot of stuff that I didn't intend to to buy. I get it. And so often once I start playing with it, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe I didn't buy this sooner. So, yeah, some some of the items they really surprise you where it's like yeah I don't think I like that and then once you start going on it I'm running over my shirt here okay the new mini had a heart die uh okay I'm trying to think which which oh yes lots of heart dies absolutely you're right you're right sweet conversations I just I don't know how hmm not big enough I've got lots of heart sets that are still current. Uh, oh, here's one. Always in my heart. Oh, oh, those are over there. Okay. Yes, there are. Get my basket. It has to be the right size. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Where are you, hearts? Uh, here it is. Oh, oh, that's that wacky heart though. No, oh, that's not going to do it for me. Huh. 
Color the doily. That's a good idea. I'm just thinking the heart would be the nice shape for it. I don't, I don't dislike this one. Um, let me just see what else I've got that might be. I've got lots in the retired. That is for darn sure. Eh, I don't want to overthink it. Let's just keep going. Okay, I'm going to do this in white. Um, hmm. I have lots of retired hearts over there too. Some more. Maybe not. I don't know where they went. Oh, somewhere I have a bunch of them. Hmm. Embossing folder with a heart die. Oh, look at the big brain on you, Donna. Uh, yes. Yes, the hybrid. Uh, what's it called? The hybrid one. Uh, okay. I'm going to find it because I don't know what it's called. I know which one you mean. What is it? It's the hybrid. Ah, help. Ouch. Okay. That hurt my knee. What's it called? Dagnabbit. It's a great idea. This one, the bouquet of love. Okay, I really cracked Minnie hard on that one. <laughs> bouquet of love. Where are you? Why is it not here? It's in the wrong section. What's going on here? Bouquet of love. Honestly, it's missing. Where is it? Is that not what it's called? No. Oh, for heaven's sakes. So page 11, what's the actual stamp set called? That's where it's all hiding is in the stamp set. Oh, love and happiness for heaven's sakes. Okay. There it is. Found it. Good Lord. It's been the first 15 minutes blabbing on. Then I spent, oh, don't know if the shape works, but I'm going to try it. Let's try it. Do I have a red one cut out? I do not. All right, fine. Fine. We'll do this. Okay. Thanks for the idea, Donna. All right. Let's do this. Let's see if the shape works. I'd have to just stick with that. Is that too hidden? Hmm. 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 I'm not sure that this works now. Okay. There's my dog punch. There's my dog. Cat. All right. Heart punch and be done with it. Well, could do. What I've done in the past, actually, is I've punched out the dog, like the silhouette out of that. But um, let's just see. Again, it is just a jumping off point, right? So I like it. I like it. And then maybe I just need a smaller tag with a something. Um, I'm going to get my little bucket of 
pieces. This. Okay, so here, I'm liking it. I'm liking how this is looking. And where is my dog, Sympathy? Where did you go, little dog, Sympathy? Um... So sorry for your loss. Thinking, 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 best friends. This might be too much to do. I'm thinking of stamping right on the heart. I don't know if that's going to be okay. Um, I kind of prefer it like that. And maybe with just, I'm just going to see if I've got some small little banners that could be something like thinking of you. Too big. Smaller. I've got a lot of really small ones from that wacky die we've got. I'm not sure that's going to work. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. Stamp the words right on the white card base. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking? That's a good idea, Shayla. Oh, yeah, that would... Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. But I think I want to mat this in black. So... See, this is how we create, you guys. We just, uh, two and a quarter by five. Um, you know, it's a jumping off point. Two, what did I say? Two and a quarter by five. Two and a quarter by Yeah, possibly, Donna. We're going to see. We're going to see how this goes. I, don't want, I like the simplicity of it. I think maybe once it's matted or mounted. Okay, so you know what my trick is. Okay, I want to know how this is going to look. I'm going to get one of my old inserts. Uh, like this is what our stamps come on, right? These new things. I'm going to put this under here. And it was probably going to be better in black. So as much as I hate it, I'm going to get up my memento black. I think it'll look better than in the red. Yeah, it definitely needs that, right, Bev? Okay, and then so over here. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh, 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 where's that little black heart that got punched out? I like this. Where's my little black heart? It went flying when I punched out the dog. Yeah, I like this. Okay, I'm going to punch out another little heart. I'm still in the punch. So I could do I could do some random little heart and a heart. Uh, I don't know if I like that. But anyway, I think that works. Yeah. That works, right? One word stamp. Do you like that or no? Is that too busy? I like it. I think it works. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tape this down. I think I'll pop something up, either the dog or the heart. Okay, layout with the puppy and the heart. No words, Gail. Totally works, Shayla. Yeah. It could also be like a congratulations on your new puppy card. Just well, obviously not with the same <laughs> sympathy sentiment, right? <laughs> Yes, 
All right. Now this, I think I'm going to, I think I'll pop the dog up. Okay. But first I need to stamp it to make sure that it's going to be positioned well. Okay. Hope it's not too globby. Let me put it right up here and hope that it's straight. A best friend leaves a property. See, I'm using almost all retired products. Sorry. I knew that wasn't going to be as dark in the middle as I want it to be. That's why you use your stamparatus, ladies. Oh well. I might go over it with a black marker. But anyway, so that's going to be flat, and then I'm going to pop the dog up. Or maybe they both get popped up. Sure. It's not like I have a lack of dimensionals. This bothers me, though, so you know I'm going to take my black Sharpie and go over that. What am I looking for? Dimensionals. Look at that, 751. I love... I knew tonight would be a great show. I knew it would. I knew it would. Because I love the card. When I love the card... I'm on fire. Tuesday was meh. That's Tuesday. But if we're going to use the paste, then that'll be a good show because I like the paste. So tomorrow I will create a few varieties and we'll show you some stuff on the paste. Okay. And then Mr. Puppy, he's going to get a dimensional on his butt. But only on his butt because he needs to be flush with the heart. So... I'm going to put it on his butt so that his head is going to stick like that. Oh, it's a little bit high. I think I want actually the heart down a little bit lower. This is what takes me hours. You know me. I'll spend hours just moving it down a millimeter. Like, very particular. Well, Heather, you're tuning in tomorrow. It's great. The paste is awesome. Now, where did my black hearts go? Do I want... Heart and a heart, is that too much? That might be too much. But I feel like he needs a rhinestone or I could do a... I could do a red heart on his tummy. Best friend leaves paw print on your heart. Oh, I could put a paw print on this heart. Ditch that. That's very deep, isn't it? Now that I've attached it. How about like that? I could put the paw print there. Oh, that's a good idea. If I could do that. Um, Heather says punch a heart from the big heart. So make it so that there's a hole in this heart. Oh, there'd be a hole in my heart. <laughs> uh, I kind of like this. Is that weird? Position wise. No, yeah, it looks like a crown. I'm thinking right there. Yeah. All right. Don't want to give it a thumbs up. Let's do it. Only problem is, well, there's a few problems, but I've attached this. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently we're going to unattach it. Go like this. More than one way to pluck a chicken. Okay. This is very literal. He's leaving a paw print on your heart. Now this hopefully will be black enough and I'll do it straight and bam. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And then it needs a rhinestone. We need a rhinestone for his collar. Oh, where do those darn... I haven't found those... Um... Okay, wait, you're going to... I have to take a little trip because I found that extra. Okay. So cute. So cute. Hang on. I'm going to look for these rhymes, these um, trinkets again. Oh, they're not there. No. I must find them. Where else would they be? Snowflakes. I can't leave this one down here. This is on my fridge. a lot of stuff. An awful lot of stuff. 
probably not the best idea to just leave my own show and uh, have you staring at nothing. But Oh, well. When have I ever done anything where you're supposed to, right? Candles. Okay, it's definitely not in here. <laughs> I don't know where they went. I've got like four packages of them. I just don't know where I put them. This is way too old. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. It would have been really... Okay, I'm okay. I'm all right. I don't know where they are. I'm coming back. Hang on. Well, I've got some cute stuff. <laughs> Little mini paper clips. What are these? Oh, Lord. Huh, I should have a garage sale. Wow. Better yet, I should use this stuff while it's current. Okay, well, still don't know where anything else, but okay. Well, I'm sure it's in a really good spot. I just don't know where that spot is. Okay, so anyway, he's going to get a rhinestone or something for a collar or a bow or I don't know what. No. Ah, put a light blue rhinestone for an eye. See, I find that creepy. Don't you think an eyeball is creepy? Okay, let's try it. Let's see what it looks like with a blue eye. No, creepy. Creepy, because it's just an eye. No, can't do that. <laughs> Yay, Heather! It makes me happy when people copy my stuff. Honestly. Okay, it is 7.57. I need either a bow... Um, I'm going to use, is this one the right color? I did that last time. White, uh, I think just a rhinestone. How about, uh, I got red rhinestones. I just don't know where they are. Oh, Lord. Um, see, okay, Yoda is in the way. I don't know where they are, you guys. I need a better system. Somewhere I have red ones. I just don't know where. So he gets white. I could color it red. I could do a row. Oh, then it's like a girl. That's too fancy. Hmm. No, okay, I've got to find it. I've got to find. I gotta find what I'm looking for. Because now I'm just faffing about. No, nope. okay. Well, it's close to being done. I'll, I'll figure it out. But it's 7:58. Hi, Chris Stones from Australia. I like the paw print on the heart. Yeah, I like that too. But it needs. You know what it needs. Okay, I know where it needs to go. The rhinestone needs to go on the paw. I think. It's too big. Dang it. No. Something. I'll I'll find it. I'll figure it. I'm gonna find those dang bones. I, I am. I'm gonna find them. They're in here. Oh, so look at the mess I'm making. But, oh, okay. It's going now. That's all right. Anyway, I will find the perfect finishing touch. I just haven't found it yet, but I will. I'm gonna look some more. So it's 7:59. I'm gonna have a sip of water and call it a day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that water is nasty. <laughs> okay, let's see what we did here. Let's see what we've done. Other than make a really big mess. Uh, okay. I'm going to take pictures, and I'm going to post them. And then you're going to take pictures of yours, and you're going to post them under the post where I posted mine. And I'm not going to do a draw. Um, I got too much going on this week. Uh, and so, yeah, I kind of like that sometimes I'll do a draw, sometimes I won't do a draw. Uh, so I will take pictures of all these and I'll post them, but look at them all. What a great layout. Debbie, you're awesome. You're awesome. From this came this. Yay, Nikki. Excellent. 
Great sympathy card. Thank you, Beth. Uh, tomorrow I want my bogo purchase and pay. Sounds good, Janet, because I do have an order going in. If anybody else wants to get in on, um, like I say, the demonstrator training, um, yeah, it's just a $35 order. And then the training is free. That training is on the 25th of March, and it's at 5 o'clock my time. So my Eastern gals, that's 7 o'clock your time. So that's pretty reasonable, right? I did that just for you guys, so it's not so late. And um, I've got the class that is this one on April 1st. Oh, Tracy, how many, how many, I think we have two spots left for the extravaganza. Janelle, are you in? Come on now, two spots, only two spots left, you guys. They're going, they're like hotcakes. Hottest ticket in town, and I'm still trying to convince Dale to come. That's all, it's eight o'clock, I'm gonna go. Have a great night. Pop back in tomorrow. Two spots left, says Tracy. Excellent. Tomorrow, 7 o'clock, let's talk embossing paste and or masks. And maybe I'll show you how to make this card. All right. See you tomorrow night. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.